11. A police chief tells the city it's downtown is out of control. News Channel 12 shows you more of his bold words put into writing. Good evening, I'm Wes Goforth. Welcome to News Channel 12 at 11. Valentina Wilson is off tonight. Three of Greenville's top leaders have resigned within weeks of each other. First the police chief, then the city manager, and the public works director. They all say they're leaving. The Greenville City Council met tonight to begin the process of finding a new city manager, which could take up to six months. The council can begin looking for a new police chief in the meantime, but it'll be up to the new city manager to hire the new police chief. And meanwhile, the outgoing chief speaks candidly to the new mayor, Alan Thomas, in an email. News Channel 12 used the Freedom of Information Act to get a copy of that email. Our Katie Jeffries broke the story earlier tonight. She's live in Greenville now to tell us what it says. Katie? Well, I heard rumblings about this email sent by the chief because it wasn't just sent to the new mayor, Alan Thomas. It was sent to the entire police department and the city council, and Chief William Anderson didn't hold back. In four paragraphs, the outgoing police chief, William Anderson, said his piece on the situation in downtown Greenville. It is a spot that is plagued with problems, and Chief Anderson calls it a, quote, out-of-control powder keg environment, end quote. He says controlling the area cannot rest solely with law enforcement, and notes he was very discouraged to hear a city council member say that what the police do isn't working. He responded with, quote, my position is, if what we have been doing was not working, there would have been a lot more bodies to clean up, end quote. To say this email is candid is an understatement. The chief then goes on to detail an incident on Thursday morning where police patrolling downtown witnessed a fight outside Michelangelo's. They saw a man pointing a gun and quickly captured the armed man behind Cubby's restaurant. The strongly worded email was sent to not just the mayor, but the entire police department and city council. Now, after the police chief's candid email, some of the Greenville City Council members also had something to say. None of us should chastise each other for our opinion. I, I've been saying this before, and I'll say it again. I believe in professionalism, and we all should be professional with each other. Mayor Pro Tem Rose Glover called it inflammatory. Didn't like the letter, didn't like the word in the letter, and I will make a response to um, the chief and the city manager in regards to that letter. Mitchell Glover and Mayor Thomas all said at the end of the day they work to support the police department. But we probably will not see another candid mass email like that again. Uh, again, I apologize for the manner in which it went out. And uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that won't happen again. Of course, there is a lot more to that email, and if you want to read it for yourself, we have a downloadable version on our website, WCTI12.com, so that way you at home can read it. For now, we are live in Greenville. Katie Jeffries, News Channel 12. All right, Katie. Chief Anderson's last working day is February 17th. He's leaving to become the police chief in Asheville.